Hi friends, today we will be discussing about thermogenesis. As we all know, thermogenesis is a process of heat production in organisms. It mainly occurs in warm-blooded animals, what we call it as endothermals. They are able to regulate their body temperature irrespective of the environmental temp temperature. So this thermogenesis is subdivided into two categories, shivering and non-shivering. Shivering involves some physical movements by our contracting muscles. It does not involve any brown fat but involves white fat sometimes. It occurs in endotherms as already told you. That's the warm-blooded animals. And on the other hand, we have the non-shivering. It's a biochemical process and involves a camp pathway and kinase pathway as well. It's a cellular mechanism that it occurs inside the cell. It occurs in eutherians, involves brown fat. This brown fat, it has a very interesting feature that it has a lot of mitochondria in it by which there is a heat generation. We will discuss it later on. But in this video, we will be discussing about shivering only. So we know that shivering is a part of thermogenesis. So we can say it's a process of heat generation in endothermals. Second thing is that it's in response to the early hypothermia. And third most important thing is that it involves the homeostasis. That means this shivering is a part of homeostasis because we maintain the body temperature in it. So we call it homeostasis. That's the stabilizing the body temperature. Now we will see how this homeostasis occurs in our body because we have to stabilize the temperature when there is pollen temperature. We see we have a body at normal temperature when there is a decrease in temperature in the environment. This sensation is taken by our cold receptors. That means the decrease in temperature is sensed by the cold receptors. And these cold receptors that, that are in the form of fibers, they send the signal to our brain, mainly the hypothalamus because hypothalamus is a thermoregulatory part of our brain. And then brain, it sends back signal. It sends back the signal in the form of effectors. Like we have the glitches, we have the contraction of muscles and other things, secretion of some hormone. That means these effectors regulate the body temperature to normal and we get the body at normal temperature back again. Same process happens for when there is increase in temperature. So we can say the same happens for cooling the body too. Now we will see the mechanism of shivering in detail. There is a decrease in temperature, it's sensed by cold receptors. As I already told you. Now, what are these cold receptors? Cold receptors are C fibers and A delta fibers in our nervous system. We have C fibers first. They are unmyelinated fibers. They have the low conduction velocity. Then we have A delta fibers. They are myelinated fibers in our nervous system and have the faster conduction velocity than C fibers. We have C and A delta fibers. And the CA and A delta fibers senses the cold outside our body and transmits a signal to the spinal cord through a tract called Lysers tract. Lysers tract transmits signal to the brain through lateral parabrachial nucleus. This lateral parabrachial nucleus transmits again the signal to the preoptic area in the hypothalamus, which is the thermoregulatory area. Now we will see how the effect occurs. This preoptic area in hypothalamus sends signal to anterior hypothalamus of nucleus because it helps in cooling. So this anterior hypothermal nucleus again sends the signal to the posterior nucleus. This posterior nucleus is the effector area for heating. It gives the effector response in the form of shivering and also constriction. And in this shivering, the muscles keep rapidly contracting and relaxing to generate heat. It produces heat because there is a conversion of chemical energy of ATP into kinetic energy, causing some of the energy to show up as a heat. But on the other hand, we have also this irisin hormone which is released by the contracting muscles and this irisin hormone which is also called exercise hormone has some amazing function in shivering process. Irisin can take on to white fat to take on characteristics of brown fat which is able to burn energy and generate heat. Guys thanks for watching the video. Do share and subscribe to my channel.